Hello everybody, welcome to my Guardian Blasting and Fields Guide. If you're interested in a rundown on the types of fields I'm talking about in these guides, as well as why I'm making these guides, at the end of this video there will be a screen with links, and one of the links will be to the intro video, so feel free to go and watch that, and you'll get the rundown. So, jumping right into it, I'm going to talk about the fields that Guardian has access to first. I'm just going to talk about fire fields, they don't have any... Uh, water fields, no smoke smoke fields, and no static fields. So I'm just going to talk about fire fields because I don't particularly care about light fields today. So they have two fire fields. Um, the first one is hollowed ground. Um, it is just a very large blue fire field and it provides stability and your party can uh, blast it for might. Some people like certain fights to be opened with this. You drop it when you get onto the boss so that you have stability and then you're just kind of initially blasting f blasting might with your attacks as you're um, fighting the boss. So the other fire field is Purging Flames. It has about half the duration of Hollowed Ground, but it also has about half the cooldown. So um, it is really nice if you're for some reason lacking another class that can provide a fire field quickly, Purging Flames is nice for those situations, as well as it is a Condi cleanse, so Condi heavy fights, you'll be bringing that, and um, so you could use it before you go into the fight and it'll be off cooldown hopefully before you need it. So this one just looks like a fiery ring. And those are the only two fire fields that Guardian has access to. Um, they're pretty decent though, so if you need them, I would say definitely remember you have them and use them. So now to talk about the blasts. The two main blasts that Guardians use are going to be Focus 5, which is called Shield of Wrath. I only recommend this blast for blasting might, and I would say attempt to time it as best you can so that it will do its final big damage explosion when you're at the boss that you're fighting. So this is what it looks like. Um, when you use that skill, it does this shield and it initially blasts the might, but then after about three seconds it's going to explode and hit anything around you in a radius of 240. So that's why I recommend it only for might blasting, because if you're blasting swiftness or stealth, there's a chance that you could hit something, and when you're blasting swiftness, you really don't want to be in combat running because that'll just take away the entire purpose of swiftness. And then if you're blasting stealth, it will reveal you, and then you could potentially kill your whole party because you are getting aggro. So I would really say if you're blasting either of those things, don't blast with Shield of Wrath unless you're desperate. The other blast, and my personal favorite Guardian blast, is Mighty Blow. It's Hammer 2, and it's on a very short cooldown. So you can always blast. You Basically, you will always have a blast when they're needed. Um, and I would say what I do with it is I'll ha I usually have my inventory open and off to the side. And if I'm about to go into a fight, so I'm blasting for might, I will blast and then swap once I finish the entire... Um, the entire scale animation. If you cancel before the animation is done, you will most likely not blast whatever you're blasting. It will say sometimes that you've blasted it, but there's a chance that it's just lying to you and you didn't actually blast anything. And that's another good thing about this skill is that say you're blasting stealth and you start to use this skill, but you notice that mobs are starting to get really close to you and they could be within that 300 range, you can cancel it before it finishes and you will not, you won't have blasted, but you also won't have potentially revealed yourself or anything, so save yourself. It's, so yeah, this blast is one of my favorite blasts. I definitely recommend all guardians carry a hammer around purely for blasting with this skill because it is such a good blasting skill. Guardians have access to two other blasts that I don't pretend that I don't particularly recommend. Um, another one is on Tome of Wrath. It's the Tome of Wrath five skill Judgment. It is a knockdown as well as a blast finisher. Personally, I prefer to use Renewed Judgment for my elite. I know some people do like Tome of Wrath because it also provides quickness. I have no idea if it's recommended or not. I just know that I prefer not to use it and I would definitely not use it only for that blast. 
the last blast that guardians have access to is on Hammer of Wisdom, which I will need to go to the mists to show you because it requires a target in order to go off. Alright, so for Hammer of Wisdom, in order to get the blast to go off, oh no, you have to use the command skill, and when that goes off, it will blast. I really don't recommend using Hammer of Wisdom, though. This is just kind of a check all your boxes showing you every blast that I know Guardian has access to um, because Hammer of Wisdom is more of a nuisance than anything else because it will knock your mobs away from you and that's very inconvenient. It also doesn't do very high DPS so um, I definitely don't recommend using this but hey there's a blast there so the more you know I guess. So just to kind of recap the important blasts and fields that Guardian has access to. You have a blast on Hammer 2, which is Mighty Blow, a very short cooldown, very good for blasting stealth or just anything in general. I highly recommend using that skill. And then you also have Focus 5 Shield of Wrath, which I recommend for blasting might right before you're going into an encounter. You have Hollowed Ground, which is a nice fire field, very long duration, and also provides stability, so it's good for when you're just getting into a fight or mid-fight. And then Purging Flames, which is about half the duration of Hollowed Ground, but still very good for a quick Might Blast before you're going into a fight. And that is all the Guardian Blasts and Fields that I am aware of and that I would recommend. So thanks everybody for watching and I will see you in two days with a Ranger. Happy Dungeoning!